to make some spinach artichoke dip for the game today. Okay, I did add some salt to the spinach and I'm adding some of this garlic paste, three teaspoons worth. And my goal here is to sweat the spinach out, to get a lot of the water out. So I turn the heat up to high. And I did put a little bit of olive oil. Okay, this is what it's melted down to. I am going to throw this on a plate and chop it up finely. I'm using these salad choppers that I've had forever for chopped salad to cut up my spinach. Okay, here is the spinach chopped. I'm gonna return this to my wok and I'm going to cut up the artichokes using the same tool. I am using these marinated artichoke hearts and I'm gonna cut them up. I mixed in my brick of cream cheese and I have a cup of mayo going in. I decided I needed more artichokes, so I'm I using you. this brand. Hashi steamed and freshly marinated artichokes with basil and thyme. And I am going to chop these up with my little chopper as well. More artichokes went in and I cut those bite size as well. And now I have a cup and a half of Grana Padano cheese going in. This was grated by hand. It's fluffy. That's the Grana Padano. And next I'm putting in a cup of Edom cheese and a cup of extra sharp cheddar cheese. And my daughter wants to say hi. Oh, oh Greninja hi. wants to say hi. Hi, hi guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using Edom cheese because that's what I had on hand. And here is the extra sharp cheddar. I'm pretty sure it's extra sharp or it's just sharp, but either way, use what you like and what you have. I'm gonna stir this up. Serve it with veggies, some tortilla chips or even pretzel. Those uh, pretzel crisps. I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. And remember, I already added garlic. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of dried dill. And I'm going to also add some paprika. Okay, I've got two teaspoons of dried dill going in. And I've also measured out some paprika that I'm gonna sprinkle on the top. I'm gonna add some of these red pepper flakes or crushed red pepper flakes, whatever you want to call it. Just a little bit. You can add as much as you like. I think it's key to cut your artichokes small. Nobody wants a huge artichoke to bite. I'm going to add a little bit more fresh grated Grana Padana to the top. I've saved my paprika. This is just nice for color. Here we go. This is ready to bake. My oven is set at 375 and I'm going to bake for 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so good. Be forewarned, this is really creamy really addictive. Mm. I can't stop eating this.